In this video, we are going to be going over if, else, and elif statements in Java. So quickly, uh, just I want to fix a really small mistake I made in the last video. So if you guys don't know, I am like a Python programmer typically. Uh, so I'm doing Java obviously, but Python is like my first language. So I'm used to being able to use two equal signs on pretty much anything because that's what you can do in Python. But in the last video, I showed you using two equal signs on strings. Now that's not incorrect to do that, but it's not going to work the way you think right now. So if you want to compare if two strings are logically the same, like the actual string values are the same, what you should actually do is say you have a string, so s in this case, uh, you have to do dot equals, okay? And then inside of this equals here, it, you're going to put the string that you want to compare it to, or you're going to put another variable, which is a string. So in this case, if I want to say if like my scanner object, which I've just typed out before this video, is equal to hello. This is how I would do it with this dot equal sign, uh, not the two equal signs. You, the two equal signs isn't wrong, but it's going to give you a different answer. And we will talk about that in future videos, but it's too advanced to go into right now. So just remember, if you want to compare two strings, use dot equals. My apologies about that from the last video. So what we want to do now is we're going to be doing using if and else statements. So pretty much if something happens, do this. Otherwise, do this. And this is the basis of programming uh, using conditions based on like user input or based on certain events that happen. We're going to do different things, right? Uh, so they're really important to understand. So first of all, what I'm doing here is I'm just getting, I'm just setting up a new scanner object. I'm just going to get uh, input from the user. We've already talked about this. And what I want to do is I want to check that user's input. And based on what they type in, I want to do something. So the basic syntax for if and else is in Java is you simply type if you put brackets and inside of these brackets is going to be your condition. And this is why I spent so much time talking about conditions in the last video. The condition here is if this condition evaluates to true, whatever's inside of what I'm about to show you here, whatever's inside of these curly braces is going to happen. So let's start with the condition. I'm going to say if s dot equals, not two equal signs. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to say Tim. So if the user types in Tim, uh, when we're, when we prompt them for input, then I want to do something. And what's going to happen is inside of these curly braces, and this denotes a block. So this is known as like an if statement or an if block. So this block simply goes the syntax if, then we have this, uh, these brackets inside the brackets is a condition. The condition can be as long as it wants, as long as you want, as long as you're going to get a true or false value back from it. And then we have these curly braces, so an open brace and a closed brace. And inside of these braces, anything that I type in here is going to happen if this condition is true. So let's just do a quick little test here. And I'm just going to do system.out.println. And in this case, we'll just say, uh, you typed Tim, okay? Wow, types, you types, you typed Tim. Okay, and let's run the program and see what happens. So when I run this, uh, if it loads up, that's odd. Okay, mm, give me one second. Okay, so we're back. I accidentally closed my console and uh, yeah, we we're running into some issues with that. So I got that up and running now. Uh, let me just restart this quickly. Okay, wow, okay. I don't know why that's white, but anyways, uh, let's just type out I don't know, what are we going to say here? Let's type hello and see what we get. Well, we get nothing because we didn't type Tim. So let's run it again. Let's try. And this time I type Tim and it says you typed Tim. So there we go. Our basic if statement is working. Now I want to just put another uh, system dot out over here so that we can uh, see what happens when we have like just with this example. Okay. I'm just going to print. I'm literally going to print print. Okay. So now what I want to show uh, what happens here is like, what is the program going to run? So if we type Tim, uh, we're going to get this, you type Tim, but are we still going to get this print out here? Or are we not going to get it? Well, let, let's test this out and see. Okay. So in this case, I type Tim. So when I type Tim, it says you type Tim and then it says print. Okay. Now the reason that happens is because this print is not within this if block, right? So it's just going to execute simply after this if block happens. So now same thing, right? If I type uh, like hi, it's still going to print out print to the screen because right, it didn't go through this if block, but this is not inside of the if block or the if statement or whatever. So that executes. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to show you else and uh, else if we're going to start with else. So else is very straightforward. It can only come after an else if or an if. So like the start of the block has to be if, and then this else, you can't just have it like alone. It has to come after an if statement or an else if statement, which we're going to go into in a second. Okay. 
Uh, there's different ways to format this. Some people like to put the else like this, so it has the closing brace and then the open brace. I personally like to do it like this. Um, some people like to do it like this. It's however you want, okay? This just works fine. Just make sure that your curly brace doesn't look something like that all the way out there because that's kind of hard to read, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this print statement and I'm going to put it in my else statement, all right? Now, the way this else works is if this happens, that's fine. We're going to go in here. We're going to print this out and then we'll move down to the end of the, uh, the block. So we'll go to here as our next execution line. Now, if this doesn't happen, so other words or else, then we print this. So we're either printing you typed him or print. We're never printing both because one of them is if and one of them is else. All right. So let's test this out. If I type Tim, we get you typed him. Okay. If I type anything else, so like some random letters and I hit enter, you get print. So the way this else works is it's meant to do something if this condition is not true, right? Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to talk about that anymore. The next one I'm going to show you is else if. Now, this is a way that we can add multiple if conditions in one kind of block, okay? So what I can do now is I can do like else if, and now it's the exact same syntax as a regular if statement, except you just have this else before. And obviously, since uh, this is an else, it has to come after an initial if statement. So you can have as many of these else ifs as you want. Now, first I'll just put a condition in here. So I'll say uh, s dot equals, in this case, let's just say like, hello, okay? And then in here, we'll just do system dot out uh, dot print ln, and we'll just say hi, because we want to greet them back. They said hello. Okay, so again, the way this is going to work is we're going to go through, we're going to check, we're going to get our scanner input, we get s, say, okay, what's s? Uh, is s equal to Tim? If it is, we're going to print this, and then we're going to move down after the last else statement. We're not going to even bother checking if it's uh, something else, because if it's equal to Tim, then we know that we shouldn't bother looking at the else ifs, right? Now, if it's not equal to Tim, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to check. We're going to say, okay, else if, that's our next block, is it equal to hello? If it's equal to hello, we're going to print hi, we're going to move on with our lives, we're going to move down here, we're not even going to bother going to the else, okay? Now, if it's not equal to hello, we're going to go into the else statement, and we're just simply going to print print. There's no condition, it's just automatically going to happen. If you print anything other than hello or Tim, we're going to print print, okay? So let's try this out, and let's type hello, and you can see we get hi, all right? Now, if I print type anything else in here, so like some random letters, we get print. Okay, uh, and that is how that works. Now I can show you, I can add as many else ifs as I want. So if I copy this and I simply paste it down here, I can have another else if, and in here I could have hi. And then in here I could type hello. And we could keep going and we could do as many else ifs as we want. Just know that whenever you have a kind of a block that looks like this, it has to start with an if statement and it does actually doesn't have to end with an else. So an else just is should be the last thing. So if you have any else ifs, else will be your last thing. Like I couldn't do an L if here and then try typing. Like that's that's not okay. You can't do that. Um, but if I omit this else, that's perfectly fine. So now I have if we type Tim, we type hello or we type hi. Let's run this and let's type none of them. Let's let's type a bunch of letters. We get nothing printed to the screen because we don't have that else statement. Now if I type hi, you see we get hello because right, we went through, it wasn't equal to Tim, it wasn't equal to hello, so we printed hi. Now, I wanna show you this, this is a bad example, but it, it'll work. If I put hello here, and I put hello here, which one are we gonna print? So remember, we're only gonna print one of these things, we're not gonna print more than one. So which one is it? Is it hi, or is it hello? Well, let's test it out. If I type hello in here, we print hi. Now, the reason we're printing high is because this else if is above this one. And this is the first one that's going to be looked at when we type something in, just the way I kind of went through it sequ sequentially. Um, so since we print high here, well, we're like, okay, well, that happened. So there's no point in checking this and we just move on. Okay, straightforward. Now, again, I could do more if statements down here. You could keep typing, like do a bunch of stuff. Just understand you can have as many else ifs as you want. You don't need an else if, like we could just do an if and an else, but every time you have kind of like an if statement or block starting, it has to start with an if. Um, it can have as many else ifs as you want, and the last thing has to be an else uh, if you're adding the else. You don't have to have that else there. 
So anyways, I think that's all I'm gonna show for if statements, else ifs, and else. They're pretty straightforward. Any condition can go here. So anything that I showed you before, like you could have a really long uh, chain conditional of a ton of stuff. Same thing here, you could have any condition, like it doesn't matter, anything that gives you a true or false value. You could also literally just type true and like that would always happen, okay? So anyways, that's been it for this video. If you guys enjoyed and learned something, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next one.